Hi guys, um, some months ago, probably a couple of months ago now, um, I spoke a little bit about a Korean um, treatise on uh, the use of weapons uh, that I have a, a book of that you can buy through Amazon, I believe. And um, uh, I mentioned that essentially not, you know, obviously not only Europe has a documented historical, i.e. written down in books, um, weapon-based combat systems. Uh, whilst Asia is most famous for its living, living lineages of martial arts, um, in, most famously in China and Japan, but also in the Philippines and Korea and so on, um, they do, much like Europe, have written down texts, treatises, manuals of weapon use and indeed of unarmed fighting as well. Um, and this is very, very interesting, of course, because whilst living lineages change a lot over time, and, and, and the most famous martial arts today, such as Judo, Aikido, Karate, and so on, are very young systems, actually. They were devised and formulated really only in the last 100, 150 years. Um, and for those of us who are interested in older historical periods and how uh, historical weapons were used two, three, four hundred years ago and, and further back, you really most of the time have to go to a documented historical source to see how those weapons were used. Um, and uh, I was pointed uh, to a really good website. Um, I, I believe it's run by a guy called Jack Chen. And what I'll do is um, underneath this video I'll put a link to his YouTube channel. Um, and what he's doing um, is essentially looking at uh, Chinese principally, I believe, Chinese treatises of weapon use. And it, there's some absolutely fascinating stuff in there, uh, looking at the uh, Dao, or Dao uh, um, which is a, a saber essentially, or falchion-like weapon, um, the, uh, the, the long Dao, uh, the use of um, the spear, or the Dao against the spear, the, the um, sort of two-handed uh, big choppy version that they had in the 1930s um, and used against the Japanese uh, and there are, there are uh, techniques of use of that um, Dao Da Dao I think it's called uh, against the bayonet for example um, so really really interesting stuff and, and you know brilliantly historically documented uh, and he and his group seem to be doing essentially exactly what we do in HEMA um, that is taking their martial arts backgrounds and applying it to the interpretation of these historical sources, manuals, uh, and recreating the techniques and learning the techniques and then using it in sparring. And um, yeah, great stuff. And it's great to see that um, more of these, um, you know, these sources in China are being um, discovered and, you know, interpreted and people are actually working on them. Uh, fascinating stuff. And also from a HEMA point of view, um, it's great to see uh, so much similarity actually between a lot of the techniques that are shown in the Chinese manuals and what we see in European manuals and to be honest looking at some of the uh, straight sword, uh, the two-handed straight sword um, stuff that uh, is on their YouTube channel it looks very very similar to, um, to longsword, uh, medieval longsword and renaissance longsword stuff that we have in European sources and equally of the, the long two-handed sabre that they use as well. The techniques are very very similar and um, some of the techniques against the bayonet are basically perhaps you know there's differences of footwork in there, there are small differences which are of themselves very interesting and worth you know talking about and noting. Uh, but the similarities are, are certainly outweigh the differences. As you would expect, everybody has two arms, two legs, one brain, uh, two eyes hopefully, and, and you know, whatever weapons they're using. And, and a two-handed sword is largely a two-handed sword. It, cut, it cuts, it thrusts, and you've got two hands holding it. So, of course, there's going to be lots of similarities. Anyway, so um, go and watch his videos. They're really cool. Um, and uh, I hope that in the future I might get to talk to him and find out some more about traditional Chinese martial arts and how the, their historical sources are being recreated and brought back. Um, and uh, yeah, go and have a look at his videos and he's got a website as well and I believe you can even buy copies of the uh, treatises, the Chinese treatises with I think translation in, uh, into English. So there we go, thank you.